It is the 9th of the 11th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net. Scotland shut down by icy, 160 mile an hour blasts of winds. A fierce storms with winds of up to 165 miles an hour has battered north northern parts of Britain with people warned to stay indoors. Schools force closed and flights and rail links canceled. I even got pictures and videos out of uh, windmills exploding. The wind is so bad. Uh, out of Oregon, massive 18 acre landslide closes camping area in Tillamook State Forest. Um, they're saying that um, this landslide has changed the course of uh, several streams. They're expecting huge debris flow, so they're telling everybody to stay out of there. Uh, more storms, or more stories on the the big storm in Britain. Canada weather bomb hits east coast. Pounding rain, high winds, and the threat of heavy snow snow are causing power outages in school and ferry closures in parts of the east coast as so-called weather bomb rolls in. And Hawaii's volcano Kilauea is erupting, uh, been ongoing. Check out this amazing video of how Hawaii's big island you're looking at red hot lava spewing out of Kilauea video, or volcano. And uh, they're saying that that can massively outgas at any time it's been known to happen throughout history. And um, 6.1 earthquake in Chile. Billion dollar weather disaster smash U.S. records. And, um, you know, the year's not done yet. Over to the Watchers, because uh, Extinction Protocol pretty much has the same stuff. Uh, the Watchers got um, Geminid Meteor Shower, 2011 peak on December 14th. Uh, the Geminids start appearing on December 7th and should reach peak activity around the 13th and 14th. Up to 100 meteors per hour could be visible under good viewing conditions. Uh, but the presence of an 82% illuminated waning gibbous moon from mid-evening until morning could ruin um, the meteor shower spectacle for sky watchers, although seeing meteors every few minutes is quite possible. But we have that uh, lunar eclipse coming up, so that might be one heck of a show after all come Saturday. I might just go out and check it out. Um, snowstorm in the western United States. Uh, winter storms spread snow and cover across multiple states on early December 2011. Prompted authorities to shut down a 40-mile stretch of interstate highway between eastern Colorado and western Kansas, according to, no to uh, local news reports. After the snow departed, fr frigid conditions took hold of eastern Colorado. The Denver Post reported in late November that the snow is largely confined to the Rocky Mountains. Nine days later, snow covered spreads eastward across the plains to Nebraska. And major winter storm for northwestern Europe. Uh, this is the storm that's been going through Scotland, of course. Uh, it's heading right for the continent of Europe. And uh, that volcano in Ecuador is gearing up again. And that's about all new they have today. Over to the RSOE. And of course, we got the storm in Europe. Uh, Extreme weather in, in uh, Ireland, obviously. Uh, more landslides and flooding in Colombia. It's just uh, torrential rains, and they're having a heck of a time out there. Uh, Albany, New York, reported uh, power outages to uh, several thousand people and uh, during their snowstorm. And uh, they've got an... They've got a nuclear event out of the state of Florida, Port St. Lucie nuclear power plant. Now they're saying um, this report's come back from back in August, you remember, when it was shut down to, to all the jellyfish um, blocking up the intakes. Well, this story goes on to say that there was a, there was a huge um, fish kill along with that and uh, going on to how, how all these massive fish kills are, are caused due to the massive intakes of these um, nuclear power plants and uh, they don't recirculate their water. Over to ENE News, 
Gunderson, if Oregon, Washington, California, you need to demand officials to test how Fukushima fallout has affected rivers and fish. Significant radiation hit west coast and settled in the Cascades. And they have a video attached with that. Fukushima worker, situ situation is totally out of control. Nobody can actually measure the temperature of the drop nuclear fuel. And of course anything they put down there is going to melt. Groundwater is a likely source for continued flow of radiation into the ocean. Complete melt through, so not surprising. Discharges continue, study says, and this is going to go on for a very, very long time. A new study fuel rods material may have been released when acid seawater interacted with ruptured fuel rods carrying radioactive materials into the ground. Full magnitude of the release has not been well documented. You know, and TEPCO is batting a thousand. Radioactive substances, uh, da, 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 da. Radiation expert back from Japan. Clear that the situation in Fukushima is rap rapidly spinning out of control. Well, the government doesn't know how to deal with the massive contamination. And... Here you go. Report. TEPCO to be effectively nationalized. Shares plunge. So what they're doing is uh, TEPCO's gone bankrupt over this situation and the government's taken over control of the company. Basically throwing everything back in the laps of the people. Uh, truly sad and insane things going on in the country of Japan. Uh, the Pacific Ocean is highly radioactive and um, we definitely need to pay attention to what's going on. So. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks for all your help.